Hey, greetings everybody. This is Articles of Reality and today we have a new video. Today we're going to be doing Tablet 9 titled The Key of Freedom of Space. So let's jump right into it. And I want to take note that uh, while doing this tablet, I noticed that this one is actually a little, little bigger than normal or bigger than the ones that we've done such far. So this will be a very interesting video, maybe a little, a little bit longer too. So Thoth begins and he says, List ye, O man, hear ye my voice, teaching of wisdom and light in this cycle, teaching ye how to banish the light, teaching ye how to bring light in thy life. Seek ye, O man, to find the great pathway that leads to eternal life as a son. And that son spelled S-U-N. Draw ye away from the veil of the darkness. Seek to become a light in the world. Make of thyself a vessel for light and focus for the sun of this space. Lift thou thine eyes to the cosmos. Lift thou thine eyes to the light. Speak in the words of the dweller, the chant that calls down the light. Sing thou the song of freedom. Sing thou the song of the soul. Create the high vibration that will make the one with the whole. Blend all thyself with the cosmos, grow into one with the light. Be thou a channel of order, a pathway of law to the world. Thy light, O man, is the great light. Shining through the shadow of flesh, free must thou rise from the darkness, before thou art one with the light. Shadows of darkness surround thee. Life fills thee with its flow, but know, O man, thou must arise, and forth thy body go, far from the plains that surround thee, and yet are one with thee too. Look around thee, O man, see thine own light reflected, aye, even in the darkness around thee, thine own light pours forth through the veil. Seek thou for wisdom always, let not thine body betray, keep in the path of the light wave, shun thou the darkened way. Know thee that wisdom is lasting, existing since the all so began, creating harmony from by the law that exists in the way. List ye, O man, to the teachings of wisdom. List to the voice that speaks of the pastime. I, I shall tell thee knowledge forgotten. Tell ye of wisdom hidden in pastime, lost in the midst of darkness around me. All right. So now we're about to start getting into his teachings. He's about to speak more to us about his ways and what he's done all right and he says know ye man ye are the ultimate of all things only the knowledge of this is forgotten lost when man was cast into bondage bound and feathered by the chains of the darkness long ago i cast off my body wandered i free through the vastness of ether circled the angles that hold man in bondage know ye o man ye are only a spirit the body is nothing the soul is all. Let not your body be a fetter. Cast off the darkness and travel in light. Cast off your body, O man, and be free. Truly a light that is one with the light. All right. So um, my interpretation is, once again, Thoth is reinforcing his wisdom in that the soul is all. The soul is everything. And we are one with the all. And that the body is nothing, it's material, and one day we will all shed our bodies. And he says, let not your body be a fetter. Okay, a fetter, a fetter is pretty much um, a chain and shackles. That's what, um, you know, they use in prisons. They're usually placed around the ankles of the inmates. So he's pretty much saying, do not let your body be your chain, your ball and chain, your shackles to shackle you down in this world. When ye are free from the feathers of darkness and travel in space as the sun of the light, then ye shall know that space is not boundless, but truly bounded by angles and curves. Know ye, O man, that all that exists is only an aspect of greater things yet to come. Matter is fluid and it flows like a stream, constantly changing from one thing to another. Now, this was pretty interesting to me because he tells us that space um, is not boundless and that it's not infinite, but it is truly bounded by angles and curves. And he also says that matter is fluid and it flows like a stream. So it flows like water. It's constantly changing and moving and I, I want to say recycling itself 
you know, becoming new things constantly. It's never stagnant. Matter is constantly changing. And it's just like water. All through the ages has knowledge existed. Never been changed through, through though buried in darkness. Never been lost, though forgotten by man. Know ye that throughout the space that ye dwell in are others as great as your own. Interlaced through the heart of your own matter, yet separate in the space of their own. I apologize, you guys. Uh, the heater just came on, so I had to move location. Um, I'm not sure you might be able to hear it just a little bit more, but this is as far as away. This is as far as away as I could get from the heater, so you guys couldn't have to hear it. All right, so let's get back into it. So once in a time long forgotten, I though opened the doorway, penetrated into other spaces, and learned of the secrets concealed. Deep in the essence of matter are many mysteries concealed. Nine are the interlocked dimensions, and nine are the cycles of space. Nine are the diffusions of consciousness, and nine are the worlds within worlds. I, nine are the lords of the cycles that come from above and below. So once again, we get that number of nine. And Thoth tells us, uh, tells us that there are nine dimensions, nine cycles of space, and nine diffusions of consciousness. And there are also nine worlds within worlds. So nine is the number. All right. Space is filled with concealed ones for space is divided by time. Seek ye the light to the space to the time space and ye shall unlock the gate. Know ye that throughout the space time consciousness surely exists. Though from my knowledge it is hidden yet still forever exists. So once again, he's reinforcing that consciousness is everything. That throughout the time-space continuum, consciousness exists. All right. The key to worlds within thee are found only within. For man is the gateway of mystery and the key that is one with the one. Seek ye within the cycle. Use the word I shall give. Open the gateway within thee and surely thou too shall live. Man, ye think that ye liveth, but know it is life within death. For as sure as ye are bound to your body, for you no life exists. Only the soul, only the soul is space free, has life that that is really a life. All else is only a bondage, a feather from which to be free. So only the soul is free. Only the soul is free to move around through the space time continuum, and life that is really a life is when your soul is free but right now it seems we are bound by our bodies but he says there are ways that we can leave our bodies and travel through space as soul think not that man is earth born though come from the earth he may be man is light born spirit but without knowing he can never be free Darkness surrounds the light born. Darkness fetters the soul. Only the one who is seeking may ever hope to be free. So, our, body, our bodies are made from the earth, from the clay. But our spirits are light born. Our spirits are from the cosmos. And once again, our body, this is just a physical suit, um, a physical vessel that was made from this earth. Shadows around thee are falling. Darkness fills all the space. Shine forth, O light of the man soul. Fill thou the darkness of space. Ye are son of the great light. Remember, and ye shall be free. Stay not thou in the shadows. Spring forth from the darkness of night. Let light, let thy soul be, O sun born. Filled with glory of light. Free from the bonds of the darkness. A soul that is one with the light. Thou art the key to all wisdom. Within thee is all time and space. Live not in bondage to darkness. Free thou light form from night. All right. So the key to yourself, the key, if you want to unlock the mysteries of the universe, he's saying that it's inside of you. It's inside of all of us because we are the universe experience in itself. He says, great light that fills all the cosmos flow thou fully to man. Make of his body a light torch that shall never be quenched among men. Long in the past sought I wisdom. Knowledge have not known to man. Far to the past I've traveled into space where time began. Sought I ever new knowledge to add to the wisdom I knew. Yet only I found that the future hold the key to the wisdom I thought. 
Down to the holes of Amenti, I journeyed the greater knowledge to seek. Ask of thee, lords of the cycles, they way to the wisdom I sought. Ask the lords this question, where is the source of all? Answered in tones that were mighty, the voice of the lord of the nine. Free thou thy soul from thy body, and come forth with me to the light. Forth I came from my body, a glittering flame in the night. Stood I before the Lord, bathed in the fire of life. Seized was I, then by a force great beyond knowledge of man. Cast was I to the abyss, through spaces unknown to man. So he um, astral projected with the Lord, with one of the lords. And he was bathed in the fire of life. So right now, you guys, he's not in his body. He's traveling right now. He's astral projecting. Saw I the moldings of order from the chaos and angles of night. Saw I the light spring from order and heard the voice of the light. Saw I the flame of the abyss casting forth order and light. Saw order spring out of chaos. Saw light giving forth life. Then I heard the voice. Hear thou and understand the flame is the source of all things contain containing all things and potentiality. The order that sent forth light is the word, and from the word come life and the existence of all. And again spoke the voice, saying, The life is thee in the word. Find thou the life within thee, and have powers to use of the word. Long I watched the light flame, pouring forth from the essence of fire, realizing that life but order, and that man is one with the fire. Back I came to my body, stood again with the nine, listened to the voice of the cycles, vibrate with powers they spoke. Know ye, O Doth, that life is but the word of the fire. The life forth ye seek before thee is but the word in the world as a fire. Seek ye the path to the word, and power surely by, surely shall be thine, shall be yours. And Doth says, Then I ask of the nine, O Lord, show me the path. Give me the path to the wisdom. Show me the way to the word. Answer me then, the Lord of the nine. Through order ye shall find the way. Saw ye that the word came from chaos? Saw ye not that light came from fire? Look in thy life for this order. Balance and order thy life. Quell all the chaos of the emotions, and thou shalt have order in life. Order brought forth from the chaos will bring thee the word of the source. Will thee the power of cycles, and make of thy soul a force that will fr that that free will extend through the ages, a perfect sun from the source. Listen I to the voice and deep thank the words in my heart, for ever I have sought for order that I might draw on the word. Know ye that he who attains it must ever in order be for use of the word through this order, has never and can never be. Take ye these words, O man, as part of thy life. Let them be. Seek thee to conquer this order, and one with the word thou shalt be. Put forth thy effort in gaining light on the pathway of life. Seek to be one with the sun state. Seek to be solely the light. Hold thou thy thought on the oneness of light with the body of man. Know that all is order from chaos, born into light. All right, and that concludes this tablet. So, what it sounds like the Lord has told Thoth too, one of the most important things that I feel like we should take out from this tablet is the concept of um, chaos and order. Because he tells Thoth, if you're looking for the way, if you're looking for the word, the path to wisdom, he says to balance his life. So, you have to balance your life. To quell all the chaos of the emotions and thou shalt have order in life. And that's so funny because nowadays it's so simple. We hear that all the time, but we never really follow that. So the most important thing that I take out of this chapter um, or this tablet is to for us to be able to find balance in life. To be able to balance things and not have our attention and energy spread out in 20 different directions. But to be able to take the chaos in our lives in our lives and to be able to balance everything, to be able to bring order out of chaos. Because like they said, order comes from chaos. Chaos does not come from order. And that that's my opinion. Chaos does not come from order. Once again, that's my opinion. But only order can come from chaos. Okay? So that concludes this chapter. Once again, it was called...
the key to freedom of space. All right. So keep it. Um, stay stay tuned for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, um, you know to subscribe so you can get updates on when we come out with the next tablets. So peace and love. You guys take care.